हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू टेक्नो साइंस क्लब इन प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी लर्न अबाउट द हीट एंड टेम्परेचर एंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द हीट एंड टेम्परेचर एंड कोल्डनेस एंड हॉटनेस आर द रिलेटिव टर्म्स दिस ऑल थिंग्स और लर्न इन प्रीवियस क्लासेस विद एन एक्टिविटी Uh, which is learned in seventh class. We remember the basic things to understand the heat and temperature on related terms. In this class, we learn about the term thermal equilibrium. The thermal equilibrium is a state that. two bodies of different different temperatures or at thermal contact there is a transfer between the there is a heat transfer between the two bodies and the two bodies are retained at the same temperature that state is called thermal equilibrium let's learn about uh, thermal equilibrium in detail the thermal equilibrium the meaning of thermal equilibrium let's state it thermal is a word which means heat and equilibrium is means equal amount of heat this is the thermal equilibrium when two bodies one is hot body and one is cold body is placed in a thermal contact the heat energy is uh, automatically transferred from the hot body to the cold body uh, that is the nature of the heat we know this transfer of heat from hot body to cold body is continuous till both bodies attains the same temperature this position that two bodies are said to be in thermal equilibrium for example let's do an activity take this is the activity which is in 10th class textbook for this activity the required material we know it is two glass beakers or two glass tumblers and a thermometer let's take a two glass tumblers or two glass beakers one beaker is filled with the hot water and another beaker is filled with the cold water and take a laboratory thermometer and note down the normal reading of the thermometer that is the room temperature uh, that is 35 degrees or 36 degrees the room temperature will be note down after the note downing the room normal temperature of the thermometer the thermometer is put into the hot water beaker and observe the readings what changes the temperature of a thermometer is increasing the level mercury level of the thermometer is rising uh, in the position uh, what's happen there is a heat transfer between the hot water and the mercury here hot water is a hot body and the mercury of thermometer mercury in the thermometer thermometer liquid is taken as a cold body there is a heat transfer between the hot water to the mercury so the mercury level increases the mercury has a property that uh, mercury is expands when it is getting heat so the mercury gains some energy on hot water lose some energy the mercury gains energy and expands so the level of the mercury increases that confirm that uh, the temperature is increasing until they attain the same temperature the water and the thermometer mercury level mercury thermometer are attain at same temperature 
एट दट पोजिशन द मेरक्यूरी धर्मामीटर एंड हॉट वाटर दीज टू और एट इक्विलिब्रियम पोजिशन द टू और एटेन एट सेम टेम्परेचर आफ्टर दट द धर्मामीटर इज कैप्ट आउट and note down the reading that increasing reading and put it into the cold water the cold water here cold body is a cold water and the hot body is the mercury so again the heat transforms from the mercury to the water because mercury is a hot body here and the water is cold here so heat transfers from the hot body to cold body you know until these two are attained at same temperature that position is called thermal equilibrium so the mercury compressed on a decreasing of temperature so the level of mercury is decreases that shows as a decrease in temperature so by these two activities Uh, it is commented by this activity we understand that two bodies are at the thermal contact they are touching with each other the two bodies uh, which are at a different temperatures are at thermal contact touching each other the heat transfers from uh, hot body to the cold body until the both bodies are attain uh, same temperature that position is called thermal equilibrium so temperature let confirm that temperature is a measure of equilibrium temperature is the measure of equilibrium this is the thermal equilibrium uh, after this our uh, heat has some units si units of heat is joules and cgs units of uh, heat is calories uh, let's uh, define the calorie an amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 uh, gram of water by 1 degree centigrade is called calorie calorie means 1 gram of water is heating and it 1 degree rise of temperature how much amount of heat is required that temperature is called that heat is called calorie one calorie one calorie is equal to 4.186 joules one calorie is equal to 4.186 joules so units for the temperature the si units of temperature is a kelvins SI units of temperature is kelvins it is also treated as a degree celsius also the temperature is uh, measured in degree celsius also these are the two units of uh, two methods two units of uh, measuring the temperature here 0 degree centigrade is equal to 273 kelvins 0 degree centigrade is equal to the 273 kelvins so we can convert uh, the temperature uh, from degree centigrade to the kelvin and kelvins to the degree centigrade we can convert from uh, both units so for example if we convert 27 degree centigrade how to convert this 27 degree centigrade into kelvin this 27 plus uh, 273 by adding 273 the degree centigrade is converted into kelvins so by adding 273 to 27 degrees 27 plus 273 is equal to 300 kelvins and uh, we transfer kelvins 373 kelvins is can be converted into degree centigrade by subtracting 273 that is 373 minus 
273 is equal to 100 degrees centigrade. By adding 273 degrees Celsius is converted into Kelvins. By subtracting 273, the Kelvins are uh, converted into degrees centigrade. That's today's class. In this class, we learn about the thermal equilibrium of the bodies. What is the thermal equilibrium? And uh, units of heat and units of uh, temperature and the conversion of uh, units of temperature from degree centigrade to Kelvin, Kelvin to degree centigrade. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, yeah. please like share subscribe and share to your friends thank you thank you for watching jai hind